All right, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. And this is some footage from yesterday, so I submitted the Oak Silk Moth, and I got 81 points for it. So because I submitted something that was over 80 points, I actually got a special object, which I'll show off later. And also, um, you'll see the cool little award ceremony that is going to start soon, which was very, very cute. Nan came in third, Robin in second, and luckily I ended up in first place so not only did I get a special piece of furniture but I also got a gold medal or a gold trophy for um, basically winning the bug catching tournament which is very very neat and um, I found out I actually am not able to expand the museum for a little while I'll talk about that more later but I did have the celebration for the new bridge that we opened so that I could start a new public works project and I decided to end up doing the um, surveillance center because or it's actually called the reset center because I didn't have the option to expand the museum and I won't for another week I think so um, that's where our surveillance center is going to be or I'm sorry reset center that's what it is and it's going to cost about I think what was it $328,000 or something like that so far I've deposited about $200,000 into it so I still have uh, about like $128,000 or something like that left I'm not exactly sure I should maybe hopefully get it paid off by the next part and here's Tom Nook basically telling us our new loan is $198,000 he claims it's pocket change <laughs> Anyways, we'll get to the gameplay in just a second. Okay, and here we are yet again. It is 7.20 p.m. while well, I am now recording live as I'm playing and talking. And oh my god, I just have been going to a bunch of people's towns all day today. So I've like received a whole bunch of awesome presents. Um, also, I managed to pick up this megaphone. I really don't know what it does, but it was at someone's town, so I picked it up. And you can see that I have a new hairstyle, and this is because one of the towns I went to had Shampoodle unlocked. But let's go ahead and see if we can use this megaphone. Um, oh. What the hell? Um, I guess that this, like, hollows them over? Oh my god, they're all coming to me! Hey! Come over here, please. Please listen to my voice and... I don't know. <laughs> Benedict, come to me. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Maybe if you say their name, they, like, talk back to you? I don't know. Let's try this out. Angus. Hey, that actually works. That's pretty crazy. So I guess if you want to try to find a neighbor fast, you can do this. And all oh, Angus is watering my flowers. How nice of him! Angus is like the nicest neighbor ever, and everyone that um, talks about Angus who has had him previously in their towns is like, he's mean, he's like super rude, but I don't know, I actually really like him. So let's go ahead and open our mailbox. And oh my god, we only have two letters. I thought we were going to get more because I sent a whole bunch of letters to my neighbors recently. So maybe um, in a couple of days we'll get some letters back. And we have a letter from Tammy. Oh, she's having a birthday party. Uh, how cool. So on the 23rd, she's going to have her party. And I guess she's inviting us. So that's pretty cool. We'll have to be sure to get her a present. Um, and because today is Father's Day, uh, we have a... Oh, we actually have a letter from our mom. I swear to God, in my XL town, I got a letter from my dad. Uh, you know, in-game dad, whatever. So anyways, darling Andrew, if things get tough, you can always come home. Your dad's too old-fashioned to say it himself. It's Father's Day, mom. <laughs> and we got a special flower um, carnation, red carnation. Um, I Supposedly, the guide says that you can only get these from Father's Day. Uh, so I don't know if that's actually true or not, but um, let's go ahead and water these and be sure to never run over these ever. So um, let's go ahead and go inside because I did pay off my loan yesterday. So my house is a lot bigger now. It's so much more spacious than it was before. And um, I actually have some stuff in my closet to bring out because... Like I was saying, today I went to a whole bunch of towns and I got a bunch of, like, gifts. I got a Wario hat, which is really cool. And, um, I got these cool pants and shoes. Oh, yeah, I went to a shoe store also, so I'm wearing some new shoes as well. 
And here is the Wario cap, which is very neat. Uh, I was really excited when I saw that in someone's store. And oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't remember the names of everyone that gave me what. But I know Cat Vela gave me a sombrero, actually. Let me see, can I find the sombrero? I don't know where it is. I have so many things in my inventory now, it's getting kind of out of hand. But yeah, I have this, and that's right, I also have a wrestling mask, which was given to me by, I think, Luigi Eats Popcorn, I believe, is the one that gave me that. So this is what the sombrero looks like. I feel like, I don't know, doing a little fashion show for you guys for whatever reason. And that's what the um, wrestling mask looks like, which is very cool. I'll go ahead and uh, remove this. And I got bandages, which is what I was wearing earlier. Which I think might be my favorite accessory so far. I really enjoy it. Um, I also did get some new furniture that I wanted to put out. My friend Gamer Artist gave me the Master Sword, which I'm really stoked about. So let's go ahead and put that out in my room. And then my friend, um, oh god, who gave me this clock? I can't remember who gave it to me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember. I went to so many towns today. Like, seriously, I was playing for like, I think six hours before recording this, so I went to a whole bunch of different people's towns and there was just a whole bunch of gift exchange left and right. And let's see, there was something else that I had though. I wanted to put it out. Oh crap, is it in my inventory already? It's a bullet bill. Um, here it is, it's the bill blaster. And my friend Connor, aka Soup Base, gave this to me. So it's uh, one of those things that actually shoots out bullet bills, which is really cool. <laughs> and then I have this Mario block. I know my room is kind of a mess, but um, you know, eventually I'll try to make it look a bit more organized. And is there anything else that I need to show off? I'm not really sure. Um, let's just look through what I have. Oh yeah, the caterpillar sofa is something that I got from the bug off. I think I might have shown that off in the intro montage, I can't remember. But in case I didn't, this is what that looks like. Pretty cool. And oh, I also got this Yoshi egg, which is pretty cool. And when you hit it, Yoshi yells at you. And um, I think Nan or Robin gave me that flower decoration up there. Oh, you know what? Someone else gave me wallpaper. That's what I was wanting to do. I knew there was something that I was missing. Oh, and I got a perfect orange and also perfect cherries. Uh, perfect cherries was gifted to me by Micah or Mika. I'm not sure how to say his name. That's also the town that had the um, shampoodle. And also, uh, my friend Steve and, oh my god, someone else gave me a gyroid. I'm going to have to start writing the names down of people who give me things so I can properly thank them because I kind of feel bad, but it's just been a little crazy. But, um, my god, where is my wallpaper? I got some wallpaper from Cat Villa, I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember where I put it. I'm sorry that, like, so far this part's just been showing off stuff that I got, but I just got back from, like, a huge adventure, so... I got a mushroom mural. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but um, they gave it to me, so I want to go ahead and hang it on my wall. And oh, that's so cool. It's like Mario wallpaper, actually. So unintentionally, my room has kind of become like very Mario themed, but with a touch of Zelda also. So it's kind of just like a um, Nintendo themed room so far, which I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm going to have to put this block over there between the red chairs later on because instead of uh, what's there because I just wanted to put something like an end table so I'll use the block as an end table and did I already hit the sword? I don't know if I did but just in case I didn't it does that little noise and there is my trophy from winning the bug catching contest so anyways enough about that let's go ahead and head on outside um, we can head on over to arcade room because I do have some furniture over there now as well, which is pretty spiffy. And also, I did start a new public works project. Um, it is the surveillance center, and I love how Angus is always watering flowers. It's just so adorable. Um, they're a sprinkle. We'll be sure to talk to some neighbors in just a second. I just wanted to show you where I have the surveillance center. So it's going to be right here, and it's going to be like a manhole. So it's going to be like a sewer type deal, but I'm going to surround it by flowers. That's kind of why I put it sort of away from my town, just so that um, it wouldn't be such an eyesore. But it costs, I think, about like 300, uh, I don't know how much. It's like 300 something thousand bells. It's a total of 368,000 bells to build it. 
So far, I have um, contributed 230,000 bells worth of stuff. Now, um, the reason I'm working on the surveillance center instead of the museum, I found out that apparently you have to have been at least playing two weeks for the museum expansion. So I figured in the meantime, I'd do the surveillance thing and um, that way maybe I could try to catch Rossetti when he's open. And also we have a camper for the first time. I already saw her earlier today, um, but it's this really cute like flamingo character. So let's go ahead and talk to her really quick. And here she is, her name is Flora. So sometimes I wonder what it'd be like to actually live in this town instead of just visiting. Um, well, you know what? We have room for two more neighbors, and this flamingo is really, really cute. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, why not? She's really cute, and she seems nice, and I like her look. So I'll go ahead and have her move into my town. My god, though, I was like, I really want Stitches to move into my town, like, so bad. And I don't know the max amount of neighbors that can move into your neighborhood, but I know you can have at least 10, or maybe that's the max, I'm not sure. But right now, how many do we have? We have, let's see, two, four, six, eight. So once she moves in, we'll have room for one more. Um, and oh my god, I'm gonna kick myself if like Stitches comes next time and we have room for him somehow. I'm like gonna cry, but it's actually okay because my friend Victoria, she has Stitches in his t her town, and um, He's so adorable. I went over to visit him today. <laughs> I was like so jealous. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and oh yay! We finally woke up Cyrus! I'm so happy. Cyrus is the blue alpaca over there and he's gonna introduce himself to us. So I haven't seen you around here before. Are you bothering my wife? <laughs> We've been here for like a week, dude. <laughs> well, anyways, let's go ahead and find out what Cyrus is all about. Because honestly, I don't even really know um, what he does. I think he alters furniture somehow. And I think that you also can um, give, like, you know those gems that we've been finding around in those rocks? Uh, we can, I think, give it to him and he can do, like, something with it. I'm not entirely sure what, but yeah, he can refurbish things, so that's really exciting. Um, we'll finally be able to interact with him and stuff. So you can also put, like, you know how I was saying those custom patterns that you can make at the Able Sisters? Or actually, just anywhere, really. Um, you can actually apply them to furniture as well. So you can put custom patterns on stuff. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Because he's finally awake. <laughs> so what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project for you. Let's see. I'll be the judge of that. Um... What is he gonna look at? He's gonna look at my simple arm chair. Arm chair. Eh. Let's see. Um, okay. This is a red chair. And I got it because it was red. But, let's see. Time to decide how you want the sofa color of this simple arm yes, armchair to change. I am sorry. I'm having a tough time reading tonight. <laughs> so, we can choose to recolor it. Is there like black? I think black could be cool. Oh, there's no black option. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna do this because the whole reason I got it was to put another uh, red chair in my house. But maybe next time when I have another piece of furniture, I'll come back and change the colors of it for sure. And I think once I start finding more furniture, I'm going to put it for sale and retail just so that it doesn't look so empty because it's just kind of depressing when <laughs> there's nothing there. Now let's head on over to Arcade's house because her house looks pretty awesome actually. She has a whole mermaid theme going on and right now um, she has the, I think, mermaid roof, the mermaid fence possibly. Um, I'm going to be having the mermaid door tomorrow because I saw the mermaid door at another person's town and it should be in Nook's homes um, tomorrow. So she'll have that in a few days which is pretty cool. And I also got the dresser, the cabinet, and the sofa, as well as that cool little rainbow thing we could download. So this is what Arcade's house looks like as of right now. And 
I also did change Arcade's hairstyle. Um, I probably won't be showing it off in this part, but I uh, took her to Shampoodle. She just got a hairstyle change, but her hair color is the same. My ha character's hair color, I think, changed a little bit. Um, I think it got a little brighter. It, it looks kind of more red than uh, it did before. So, anyways, um, I don't really feel like going to Main Street today. I might go talk to Sable for you guys just because, you know, we've been kind of warming up to her. So let's go see what she has to say. I don't really need to bother with Nook's Homes or even uh, Nookling Junction. What I got in the fortune cookie today was the Yoshi egg. Um, so let's go talk to Sable. Then we'll go back to our town and talk to our neighbors for a bit because, um, you know, I normally really don't get to show that off so let's go ahead and talk to Sable. Oh I have the skull tea over here as well I didn't even realize. Alright well anyways um, let's go ahead and talk to Sable so if you see anything you like just let Mabel know and she can help you. So um, I talked to her earlier today actually and she was saying how um, she wished that we could have tea uh, and that there was more workers over there so that they could actually sit down and talk to us. And then, um, <laughs> I think Abel, or I can't remember, Mabel? Mabel and Sable, yeah, Mabel stepped in and said that, you know, she should basically be grateful for what they have, and yada, yada, yada. So, that was a cute little moment, and I think, um, we'll get to know more about them for sure in the future. Now, let's go ahead and use the megaphone, because that's a pretty handy object, and also, these perfect cherries and perfect oranges, you should uh, plant them because I guess then you have perfect fruit trees and the perfect fruit sells for a lot of money. So I'm going to be sure to plant all of my perfect cherries. Those were from uh, Micah and the perfect orange which I got from Cat Villa. So let's go talk to, uh, there's Nan, so we'll say hello to her. And she says, um, what can I do for you? What's the latest? So she's been taking up calligraphy lately, and I can't begin to describe how good it feels to finish a letter without tearing the paper. Um, I wanted to get into calligraphy at one point because my handwriting's terrible, and I think calligraphy is actually really, really pretty. But uh, that was just not happening. And by the way, a big reason why I wanted to record a bit later tonight was because of the music, because I think I might have already mentioned how every hour. Um, the song changes, and I think 7 p.m. might be my favorite song. Also, the one that plays at 2 in the morning, and don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously, I'm pretty addicted to this game because I know what the music sounds like at 2 a.m. Oh, Sprinkle wants to talk to us, so let's say hello to her. But, anyways, the 2 a.m. song is very, very cute, and obviously, Sprinkle noticed that we got our hair cut. <laughs> oh, so she says we're better looking if that's possible. <laughs> You're just so, so fascinating. Aw, that's so adorable. And also, look, those flowers, they were, like, completely wilted yesterday. They're totally um, alive now, which is awesome. And now she's a bit of a night owl because, you know, I established the night owl ordinance, so we see neighbors out and about a lot more frequently during the nighttime. Um, Kyle's not at his house, so let's see if we can use this megaphone to figure out where he is. Kyle. Did he... No reply. Oh, he might be in, like, the museum or something for all we know. Um, or he might be in, like, a store because Benedict was in retail. And I just ran past Angus. I should talk to him. He watered my flowers today, which was really, really nice of him. So let's go say hi to him. And it is taking forever to get into the groove of this crazy day. And I'm out of time. Let's see. Do you have anything for us to do? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Sprinkle one more time and see if she has anything else other to say other than complimenting us. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk. Oh! She's talking about my friend Melatonin. So, I just met Mel Meow from Meowtown. I was all like, what an awesome freshman mayor. Maybe she and I are destined to be the bestest of friends. I'll go get my fortune told and find out. <laughs> that is adorable. Let's see. Drift. I guess he's not nearby either. Where are they? I saw Non, Angus, and Sprinkle. Let's see if we can actually find Benedict again. 
Um, he was at retail. Okay, and he's stepped outside now. So let's say hi to him. So he is kind of sleepy. Now let's go ahead and talk. Wonder if there's a way to make my room look cooler. I know. Do you have any furniture you could recommend to me? Anything will do. I trust your taste. Hmm. All right. So let's see. I guess we can give him some furniture. We could give him the caterpillar. So no, no, not doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and just give him my simple armchair. I don't even have room for it. So whatever. He's gonna have a red chair in his room. Which, by the way, I don't think I've actually seen his house. I mean, we've seen it, but um, we've only. Oh, he's gonna give us a present in return. That's really nice of him. So we got a pair dresser. That was really nice of him. Uh, what? I was saying is we saw him when he first moved in but he only had boxes and stuff and by the way I planted a whole bunch of more fruit trees everywhere and around City Hall all these little trees right here are orange trees so City Hall is gonna be surrounded by them which is awesome now I didn't see Kyle or Drift so let's go see if they're just hanging out around Main Street or they may even possibly be in the museum checking out some of the exhibits and um, oh here's Drift all right cool so fancy meeting you here bud uh, let's go ahead and ask him what's up <laughs> so he's telling us not to spend so much money which is a good idea because I really want to pay off that surveillance center as much as I can um, so he doesn't really have much to say to us other than a simple little greeting and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the museum just to see if we can find Kyle because I didn't see him anywhere in town and I didn't see him on Main Street. He may have been in like Nookween or something for all we know, but I'm not sure. I want to come and show off the um, insects room because there's two beetles in here that actually fight with each other and it's just kind of entertaining. So I thought I'd uh, show you guys it before this part ends. So let's see. Here they are. <laughs> it is these two beetles right here that like to fight each other. And it's like this in the other Animal Crossings too. So as you can see the gold beetle, I think is what it's named, will lift up the Hercules beetle? I can't remember what their names are exactly. Let's see. It is the horned Hercules, Hercules sorry, beetle and the golden stag. And as you can see, they uh, flip each other over and stuff in battles. So this is kind of a little entertaining thing about Animal Crossing. And uh, we can see all of our cool little bugs here. Okay, well, they're not so little, and a lot of them are actually pretty creepy. And by the way, I have ran into like five tarantulas so far. And no joke, every time I ran into one, they all like knocked me out and I was back at my house which was ridiculous but here's the thing my friend melatonin who ran into it um, the first time she ran into a tarantula it got away from her but then the second time she ran into it she caught it so <laughs> that is just awful I'm I'm very bad at the bug catching and just everything in general in this game um, oh but bug catching is actually really easy on the island and people were asking like how much like how I made so much money in that last part and I just kept going to the island and catching bugs super late at night and there was a lot of rare bugs there um, there was that's where I got the golden uh, beetle or whatever it's called I got it like two or three times and I think that those sell for uh, I want to say like about 10,000 bells maybe a little less or maybe even possibly a bit more I can't remember so if you want to make money, just head on over to the island. It's a great area to make a lot of bells in a short amount of time uh, by either bug catching or also fishing is great if you're good at that. I'm not very good at that, but you'll see sharks there uh, pretty frequently. And by the way, um, here's our tree. I feel like I haven't really shown this off in a few days, but uh, it's growing and so is our town. I'm really happy that um, Cyrus finally woke up and we'll be able to actually customize our furniture a little bit. That's pretty cool. And it looks like Nan is fishing. Um, so hopefully also I want Nookling Junction to turn into TNT Mart so bad. Um, there doesn't seem to be anyone else to talk to though. That um, what is it? The megaphone is actually a really, really handy item. I like that and how you can actually say their names out loud. <laughs> uh, I don't think that Tammy is in her house and I didn't see her anywhere either. I wanted to see what her house was decorated like but I just don't know. So anyways, 
um, this was kind of a more relaxed part, but tomorrow I should maybe... Mm, I don't know how far along I'm going to be with paying off the surveillance center. I'm going to try to get it all paid off by tonight so that uh, we can see it tomorrow. Like, tomorrow it's just going to look like, um, like I said, like a manhole. Um, so it's not going to look like anything spectacular. But uh, during certain hours of the day, you can actually go into Rossetti's surveillance center. And maybe there's some special items you can get there or something. I'm not really sure. So... Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.